Chasing the stolen vehicles that get new identities. Car wars in half an hour on BBC One. After tomorrow's world heads for Italy. This week, tomorrow's world is in Venice to try out a new boat that doesn't make waves. In the corner of a Venetian art gallery, strange things are afoot. These are electronic sculptures. They're made of glass, but they have the ability to respond to movement by lighting up and making sounds. They're incredibly beautiful, slightly threatening. Hidden inside these glass sculptures are microchips and mounted on the front of them are infrared sensors like the kind that you find on your burglar alarm at home. Now when the sensors pick up some movement in front of them, they set off a range of sounds which build up the more you move until you have a huge cacophony of noise. So here we go. Ali Guzzetti is the artist who makes these sculptures. They start off by being blown in the same way as a traditional glass ornament. Guzzetti then programs various sounds into a microchip that he then inserts into the shape. What do you think of the interactive sculptures? Oh, they're great. Very nice. You can play with them. Very nice. Nice ideas. Very strange. I've never seen it before. 